Hey everybody, and in this video I'm going to be uh, testing my Peugeot 207 GTI's uh, fuel consumption in city. So it's going to be like a 10km uh, city driving, and I'm going to use my trip computer uh, to, to show you the average fuel consumption. It's a rough estimate, don't take it for granted, but it will give you an idea what to expect. So this garage here is my starting point. I'm going to go to the city and come back here. Let's begin and reset the, the fuel consumption. My engine temperature is also not warm, so uh, I'm trying to make this test as realistic as possible. Outside it's uh, 27 degrees. Let's start. Now I hope uh, I'm not gonna get into some traffic jam. Uh, today I wanted to, uh, for the traffic to be not too much traffic and not too little traffic, uh, to everything be average. So I'm gonna be going now to the city center where it's more likely to be uh, heavy traffic than here a bit away from the city center. All right, I'm gonna be driving uh, not like a grandma and not like too dynamic and fast so like i said everything to be normal in normal circumstances all right so far because of that uh, traffic traffic light the fuel consumption is 15 but it's of course uh, gonna go down very fast now that's 15 liters per 100 kilometer, but I'm also gonna put the MPG uh, with it as well. So people all across the world would understand the values. Now to explain uh, what we're dealing with here, this is again a Peugeot 207 GTI from 2009 and the engine that this car has is 1.6 liter turbocharged engine, uh, of course petrol engine. The good thing about this engine is it has uh, a good amount of uh, torque in the lower RPMs. In the specifications uh, they say uh, it has maximum torque at uh, 1,600 uh, RPMs, which is, I mean, it's like a diesel, basically. <laughs> the engine is almost warmed up now. So far, our fuel consumption is around 10. I'm expecting to have uh, a bit under 10, maybe 9 would be nice, because so far my fuel economy in city was around 9 or 10 liters, according to this uh, trip computer. So, but back to the engine, uh, having the torque way down low, it uh, really gives me power to uh, when I'm accelerating from the start. The fuel consumption, as you can see, is 8.3 now. So that's a pretty good start. I think it's gonna go up as we go closer to the city center, but we'll see. Also, when I'm gonna be going back from the city center, I'm gonna turn on the aircon uh, because many people in this car during this weather are gonna turn on the aircon. So when I go to the city center, no aircon. When I come back, I'm gonna turn it on. All right, we're entering city center soon. My fuel economy is point at the moment. I'm gonna also uh, park somewhere in the city to make it seem like I'm going somewhere to eat or to get something. But so far there's a bit heavier traffic than what I wanted. But... Alright, now we are in, in city center. Okay, there's not that many cars. So we'll see. I'm gonna find a parking somewhere there. All right, let's find a parking here, which is not gonna be easy. 
or maybe I don't have to find a parking. I'm just gonna illustrate it by by just stopping here. Yeah, uh, ten point eight liters per hundred kilometer at the moment, and I'm gonna turn off my engine and wait. Just wait a few seconds. All right, let's continue. We got the stuff that we need, or we ate the food that we wanted. So let's go home now. All right, turning on the aircon. To talk more about this car, uh, it's pretty easy to drive this car in city. Uh, except for the suspension. If your city has lots of uh, bumps and holes, then this uh, tight suspension, uh, you, sometimes you will find it uh, annoying, but oh well, that's, you sacrifice something when you, if you want a sporty car. <laughs> All right, finally, there's one traffic light that you have to wait for a few minutes. So now it's gonna be a bit of a, a bit downhill. 11.3 liters per 100 kilometers, so that's... I hope it's not gonna be like that at the end. But now it's downhill, so... I should... It should... that value should lower... from now on. Already came down to 10.9. There's another green light. Okay, that's good. Need to let the pedestrians. I don't want to, I still want to obey the laws of traffic. All right, we are 10 minutes uh, away from the garage, the finish line, and so far it's uh, 10, exactly 10 liters per 100 kilometers. This same road I used to go to city center, which is a bit uphill. And now when I'm going back, it's a bit downhill. So that's why the value is going down. Again, I'm not driving like a grandma. Like I shift at uh, uh, 2,300 RPMs. And I don't drive the car under 1,500 RPMs. I mean, right now I'm, well, I'm in fifth gear. So right now I'm at, almost uh, 2,000 RPMs, so I'm trying to drive as normally as I can. All right, here we are, this is the garage. Right now it's 9.2, uh, okay, wow, that's impressive. I wasn't expecting that, that low. Right, let's park in the same in the same parking spot that I started. Opa. Yeah, here. And we're gonna end up at nine point two. Twelve kilometers, nine point three liters per hundred kilometer. That's actually I'm impressed. And the test is done. Uh, I'm actually surprised of the, the result at the end, uh, 9.2 liters per 100 kilometer. That's actually pretty good. Lexus had uh, 11.5 liters per 100 kilometer, but of course it's uh, V6 and everything. So you expect it to use more fuel in city. Anyway, for those of you who plan to buy this car and wanted to know uh, what's the fuel economy in city, I showed you, uh, it's not, it's a rough estimate, but it's gonna give you an idea. So I hope you find this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one, bye.